Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Naz and today I'll be discussing about hypersensitivity pneumonitis. It is also known as extrinsic allergic alveolitis. So by this name we can say the etiology is extrinsic source that is organic antigen that is coming from outside and it will result in allergy that will lead to alveolitis. So what is happening in the disease? It, is, it results from the inhalation of a wide variety of organic antigens and it is an immunological response to an extrinsic antigen that involves both immune complex and delayed hypersensitivity reactions. So in delayed hypersensitivity reactions and immune complex means it is a both type 3 and type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. So these are the types of extrinsic allergic alveolitis or hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Farmer's lung, it will be caused by moldy hay and the antigen in this disease will be thermophilic actinomycetes bacteria. So farmer's lung is caused by actinomycetes bacteria which is present in moldy hay. Bird fancier's lung, its antigen is avian serum proteins. So the bird serum protein is the antigen and the source is avian excreta proteins and feathers so basically the birds are causing this disease bisinosis it's very important cotton or hemp dust is the antigen and uh, the source of this antigen is textile industries humidifier inhalational fever so the thermophilic actinomycid bacteria will also cause this condition and it's sources contamination of air conditioners ACs and uh, the cheese worker lung disease the antigen is aspergillus clavitis and it will be present in moldy cheese so acute form occurs in patient with exposure to high antigen load it presents with influenza like symptoms like recurrent episodes of fever malaise headache cough dyspnea and wheeze will also present in acute form, complete blood count will show leukocytosis that is increased white blood cell count. X uh, chest x-ray will reveal ill-defined patchy airspace shadowing and uh, the high resolution CT scan will show bilateral ground glass appearance which will affect upper and middle lobe. What is ground glass appearance? It is haziness of the chest x-ray. It is haziness of the chest x-ray but it will not obscure the blood vessels or bronchi. There will be areas of consolidation superimposed on nodular opacities. This is the ground glass appearance. Chronic form occurs in patient with exposure to low antigen load and it presents with progressive worsening dyspnea and progressive respiratory failure. Auscultation reveals widespread and inspiratory crackles like a velcro. Chest X-ray will show features of pulmonary fibrosis that is the honeycomb appearance or you can say the ground glass appearance these will be the features and the pulmonary function will show restrictive pattern that is the FEV1 to FEC ratio will be decreased because there is decrease in force vital capacity and uh, the diffusion lung capacity of carbon monoxide will also be decreased and there will be decrease in total lung volume and residual volume. HRCT will show pulmonary fibrosis feature that is volume loss, linear opacities, architectural distortion. So this is pulmonary fibrosis x-ray. You can see multiple chest infiltrates giving honeycomb appearance. So this picture is showing how there is progressive pulmonary fibrosis in allergic alveolitis so firstly there is increased extent or severity of traction bronchiectasis then there will be new ground glass with traction bronchiectasis then there will be appearance of new fine reticulation fibers then there will be increased extent or coarseness of reticular abnormality then new or increased honeycombing and increased lobar volume loss so basically when there will be increased lobar volume loss then there will be decreased gaseous exchange hypoxemia respiratory failure etc so what's the treatment we have to remove the exposure to inciting agent dusk mask with filters can be used acute form is treated with prednisolone for three to four weeks 
at least and high concentration of oxygen should be given in severely hypoxemic patients complications may include pulmonary fibrosis which may lead to hypoxemia and respiratory failure hypertension can also occur which can lead to core pulmonary that is right sided heart failure and death so this is the end of the lecture if you learned something from it please do like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel share my videos with your friend and thank you so much for watching